Good morning. Today I want to talk to you about terminations. So it's never a fun topic, but it's definitely a very important topic to make sure that you are doing your homework ahead of time and you're prepared prior to the termination. So the first thing is your documentation. Want to make sure that you always have documentation leading up to the termination if possible. Of course, there will be some instances that warrant immediate termination, but for performance issues, um, if someone isn't performing up to expectations or they're violating policies, potentially um, an attendance policy, you wanna make sure that you're having conversations with the employee, giving them the opportunity to improve and documenting those conversations along the way. Um, most states are at will states, so you do have the opportunity to terminate someone for any reason or no reason at all, as long as it's not an illegal reason. Um, but if the individual goes and files a claim saying that you did terminate them for an illegal reason, then you want to make sure that you have the documentation to show the true reason why you terminate that individual to defend your company. Also, prior to the termination, you want to make sure that you look up for your state what the final pay requirements are and documentation to provide to the employee at time of termination. Many states are different. Um, some you have to pay, like California, you have to pay all final wages at the time of termination. So make sure that you're looking that up or talking to your HR department beforehand. Um, also, a lot of people terminate on Fridays. So what is the best day to terminate during the week? So most individuals, and I definitely agree with this and recommend that you terminate midweek. This way, the individual doesn't feel so lost, like they can't do anything until the following Monday. So they are able to reach out to their network, they're going to be able to go file for unemployment, they feel like they'll be able to talk to other employers about opportunities because the work week is still open. Um, also want to make sure that you are, prior to your termination, really figuring out what you're going to communicate to that employee during the termination meeting. So if you have an HR department or another manager, make sure you role play. Figure out what you wanna say and rehearse it. It makes the meeting go so much easier. And then also, be um, don't be specific in terms of the reason for termination where you, when you're communicating it to the rest of the staff. Just keep it short and simple, but make sure that you are communicating it to everyone. I hope you all have a great day and let me know if there's any topics you want to hear from for me.